Welcome to LC Screen Talk. My name is Larry, and this is my latest Criterion Collection haul from the November 50% off sale at Barnes & Noble. So although I'm a huge physical media movie collector, I only recently started getting into the Criterion Collection. And it was only through the semi-annual 50% off sales at Barnes & Noble that I truly decided to take the plunge. Because if you're not aware, the Criterion Collection discs, Blu-rays, DVDs are quite pricey. So it was certainly intimidating to take that first plunge, but I have to say, since then, well, here we are. Every time a sale comes around, I have my list ready to go, and I am on that website ordering some new Blu-rays. Now, if you haven't seen, I went kind of crazy for Black Friday and spent a lot of money there. Thus, I didn't go quite as crazy on the Criterion Collection this time round. Certainly not like I did back at the last sale, so make sure you check out that haul. But I did pick up some exciting titles that I wanted to share with you all. So let's go ahead and check out the haul. The first up is a Criterion that I'm pretty sure everyone already has. <laughs> It seems like this is a staple for everyone's collection, and I don't know why it took me as long as it did for me to go ahead and purchase this, because, hello, but I finally got The Princess Bride. This is spine number 948, but just look at how absolutely stunning this set is. It is a storybook that feels just like the old-timey storybooks. This is just Hein is not just printed on, it is input into the front and back covers. Honestly, this shot up to one of my favorite items in my entire collection. I think this is amazing. And then when we open it up, oh look! <laughs> So awesome! And we have this beautiful fairy tale story time with a table of contents and all. Oh my gosh, I think that this is amazing. And then thankfully, we have some beautiful disc art as well. So this is the Princess Bride. Again, it's a very common purchase. I think most everyone I know that collects Criterions already has this one, but oh. After I got it, I could not be more excited to add this to my collection. <laughs> Next up is the latest addition to my LGBTQ plus collection within the Criterion, and that is my own private Idaho. So this is spine number 227, the 90s Gus Van Zandt classic starring Keanu Reeves and River Phoenix. I actually just did a review for this for my Pride Month celebration of reviews last year for 2019. I will go ahead and link that review up above as well. But that was a first time watch last year for me and I absolutely loved this film. But once we open it up, look how gorgeous this is cover is oh my gosh then it's one of those that has one of these beautiful booklets honestly the quality of these booklets is so nice just to the touch <laughs> they're just so lovely and then when you get inside of course the quality of the content itself is stunning just as a collector this book is amazing and then once again we do have that disc art the inside cover here that is my own private Idaho. Now, if you like Gus Van Zandt, I'm sure you've already seen this. But if you like smaller, really kind of messy, complex, LGBTQ-centered dramas, I think you're really going to like this film. So check it out if you haven't. Check out my review and hear why it's worth your time. <laughs> Next up is a brand new release to the collection that I actually pre-ordered when the sale first came available and it was delivered later in the month but we have moonstruck so this is spy number 1056 we have the share nicholas cage classic and i think this is a really fun 
addition to the Criterion Collection. And as usual, when they're not that like paper casing, they're a little bit more simple, I've noticed, when they come in this clear jewel type of casing. But we open up, we have that disc art, and then it's more of like a fold-out pamphlet style book. Overall, this entire release is very similar to like the Portrait of Lady on Fire, right down to this booklet, to the casing, all of that. It's been a while since I've watched Moonstruck, so I'm definitely excited to give it a watch with my new Criterion Blu-ray. And then finally, another new release that just came out. My final pickup for the November sale is... Parasite. Once I heard Parasite's release date, I was just hoping they didn't sell out anytime soon so that I could purchase it through the November half-off sale. And oh, as soon as this sale went live, I was on that website to get Parasite. <laughs> Look at this cover. Oh my gosh, what stunning packaging for this Best Picture winner. Now, Parasite is spine number 1054, which as you could tell, was really close to Moonstruck's spine number. But we open this bad boy up, and there we have the classic cover art that we all have come to know and love on both the front and the back. But I love the code when you put that cover back over this. And then when we open Parasite on up, we once again have a little bit smaller of a booklet, if you will. And then this absolutely stunning packaging with the two Blu-ray sets. So tons of special features on this set that I cannot wait to dive into. So I feel like I say this about a lot of the new Criterions I buy, but this is another one that instantly shot up my rankings in terms of favorite films within my collection because this packaging is stunning. I was so excited when they announced that Parasite was coming to the Criterion Collection anyway. I held off. I didn't buy the normal Blu-ray just because of that. And then when they showed this cover and packaging online, oh, I knew I was going to just die if I didn't get it. <laughs> So that's it. Those are my four new additions to my personal Criterion collection. Thank you all so much for coming along with me, sharing in the joy of being a Criterion collector. I hope you all did enjoy this haul video. If you did, please hit that like button down below and subscribe to the channel so you are always up to date on my latest videos. Also, join in on the discussion. What did you pick up for the November sale at Barnes & Noble? Let me know either in the comment section down below, or you can hit me up on Twitter. I love you all so much for your continued support. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!